Video review time. Looks all right, right? I mean, it's kind of shaded there. Um, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it's clearly like pretty high quality shit. Um, also, I was mentioning the leather, you know, heat. Um, it's hard to see with the camera here, but those are holes, looks like, to dissipate said heat. So that's very nice. Um, several different strap mounting points. Um, you know, whatever. Use them however you want. Don't use them out. Um, let's get to the software. Ugh. Oh, another thing to kind of consider, it's going to elevate you slightly from your old position. So that's a... Uh, Ah, we'll just keep the phone pointed the wrong way here. Okay. Software's pretty cool. It's still very beta. Like, it even when you download it, it says it's in beta. I don't know if it says it here. It does not. But you can see a set of Corsa, Automobilista, or sorry, ACC, AMS2. Those are still in beta where iRacing and... Uh, a set of Corsa proper are not. There's also this very cool thing. Uh, let me get to it here. There's a virtual sound card. Turn that motherfucker on, and all of a sudden, this thing is you're just you're sitting on a subwoofer. So watch a movie, uh, play music, whatever. It's <laughs> it's pretty freaking sick. Like. This thing uses 10 watts, and it, it it's obviously going to blow a 500-watt uh, subwoofer out of the water because you're, you're sitting on the damn thing. Um, and that's really where uh, this, and, and, you know, like you can probably use SimHub and shit for this, but um, I don't. So, you go into these profiles. All right, I'm turning the camera, sorry. So, you can uh, see... Gear shift, I have all, so when the gear shifts, every single thing vibrates, which is just so cool. Um, you know, you can set the brake, and let me get deeper into the sub menus here, because it gets a little bit. Ah, come on. There we go. So as you can see, like with suspension here, you can, you can go through and set which one you want to light up. Um, you know, depending on the situation, and then you can uh, go through the other ones. Like, let's see what uh, my favorite right now is gear shift because it's just simple. It's uh, impossible to do this while I'm holding my phone, apparently. So it's all on um, when I so when I shift gears, this whole thing vibrates, which is uh, honestly really sick. Um, you can have, you know, speed, engine, RPMs on, that you know, that stuff. I think I did the RPMs, and essentially that's just going to make the whole thing vibrate the entire time you're, you know, the engine's turned on. Um, it'll have a low vibration, and then the faster you go, the more it vibrates. It's kind of cool, but it's not turned on by default, and I don't know if, how great that is. So I, I'm sure using SimHub, you could probably get some... A lot more customization out of this. I'm pretty sure it works with SimHub, um, you know, to tell it exactly what you want to feel. But out of the box, um, we focus, you know, right, 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 left, front, right, front, left. Um, those are going to be like your slips. So uh, you're, you're, you know, if you if you lose the back end, you can feel it very clearly in the back end. Now the front end, and of course, these are rear wheel drive cars. Doesn't not as impactful unless you're like spinning out or something then you can feel that but um let's see what else i mean it, it, it's dumb simple it's just got um let's go down to this mess that i've created control panel uh it's currently using usb but you if you don't for some reason have usb i don't know how that would happen console maybe or you can use a that kind of jack um, let's see, I don't think there's really anything else to it. I mean, you just strap it on and go. Uh, it definitely replaces the need for a butt kicker. Um, it may replace the need for transducers, though 
you know, I have the V3, so I have motors up here. I think transducer, like a, a two set, so a cheap $50 transducer set on the front left and right might be kind of cool, or maybe the rear left and right. Probably the rear, I guess. Um, but no, I'm very, very, very pleased. Um, I would recommend it for like normal, like office chairs, um, or anything that you watch a movie in. Holy shit. Like this, this brings movies to <clears throat> next level. <laughs> uh, oh God. Okay. So that's my review. Um, I, I, you know, I give it like 10 out of 10 just because it's so damn easy. You know, it's, I think it's a little expensive for eight transducers. Um, and I don't like, the, again, you know, you can kind of see that's, that's a bit of elevation over my normal seat. So that's annoying, but it's not as bad when you're, uh, when you're sitting on it. So, and the cats have really destroyed my seat. So just don't worry about that. All right. That's all.